Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh my gosh, it's like a crashing moment for them. They want another chance. Um, something here is going down in flames. I, I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but they're having a huge tower moment. They're feeling really destroyed here. Um, this is the, the meaning of this card is, oh my God, what have I done? That's the meaning of this card. What have I done? What have I done? If I can only get one more chance. Maybe this person already tried to communicate with you and they absolutely blew it. Like this is somebody who's in a lot of despair, right? They don't have any hope left in them. Um, yeah, they just want you to love them again. Oh, no. You're getting somebody new. You got a new cookie coming into the into your energy. Okay? Someone new is coming into your life. Yep, and this person is afraid they're never going to get another chance with you again. I don't know. I I feel like they either heard something about you or they saw something, but they have no hope. They have no hope that they're ever going to get another chance. And I feel like um, it's fear that kept this person away from you. Like they were afraid to confront this. They were afraid to speak um, their truth. They were afraid to tell you how they feel. Okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, or possibly a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They, they realize you don't feel about them the same way you used to. Okay. Oh, my gosh. They can't stop thinking about you. Look at this collective. This is the Six of Cups in this deck. Okay. And they're watching this dream just float away. They're realizing here that um, you were literally the best, th the, the best thing that they'll ever find in their life. Okay. And this person held back their love. They held back the truth from you. I feel like all you did was give to this person. Look at all you did was watch over them. You had nothing but good intentions for them. And they're like over here playing with their toe. Okay, they didn't pay any attention to you at all. Um, they uh, pushed you out of their life. They pushed your feelings aside. You know, they, uh, they completely disregarded you. They did. And they realized that. This person can't stand it. Oh, my gosh. You're going to give that beautiful love to someone else? Oh, no. And I feel like um, they're under a lot of pressure to speak up. They have been. It's all that they can do to keep it all inside. I feel like this person's been doing a lot of numbing. If you look at their eyelids, they're all red and puffy. They're, they're in bad health right now as well. Maybe they've been doing some kind of substance as well. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like I'm just picking up on like this heavy emotions off of this person. You know, they had this beautiful, unconditional love from you at one point, and they lost you. And now you may be getting someone new, and this person, they're, it's driving them crazy. Oh, they chose a karmic over you? This person chose a karmic over you. And they could have even gotten into a commitment or engaged. I'm just seeing an engagement. It's not fully on her finger yet. Or they could be getting a lot of pressure from whoever they chose over you to get committed and they don't want to. There could be a lot of fighting going on. Yeah, look, as they want you, collective, and you're releasing this person. They can feel that. See how you're throwing these flowers out of your hand? You're putting your other hand up like, I don't want any more of this energy. Uh, you're walking through a portal here. See all of this around you? That's a portal into your new, this new phase in your life. 
okay? But you know you have to release this in order to move forward. You don't want to carry any of the baggage or the pains from the past with you into your future cycle, right? So you're releasing this person and they can feel like you're dumping them, <laughs> you know? That's what it feels like to this person. It feels like you're dumping them. When they're, they chose someone else over you. What are they, what? <laughs> These people, man. Yeah, but this is how it feels. Like they're getting dumped for, for someone else. But isn't that, isn't that what they did to you? Didn't they do that to you? I think this person has it a little bit backwards. Because they said goodbye to you for third parties. Okay? They said goodbye to you for possibly karmic individuals. These are sirens here. Okay? So, yeah. This is exactly what they did to you. I guess now they know how it feels. Now they know how it feels. And they can't stand it. Yeah, they they don't think they're ever going to get another chance. I feel like you have been this person's wish for a while now, but you're, um, you've got your boundaries up. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your family, your children, everything that you've created. It could be a business that you're protecting, okay? All of your abundance, your happiness, your sanity, you're protecting it all. Okay, um, whether you have new love or not yet, this person can feel it. They can sense it coming into your life. Uh, the only, this is, that's the only meaning behind this card is that you have somebody new coming in. This is a new person, a new cookie, okay? Yeah, and I, I feel like, yeah, look, you were their healer. This is a healing card. Okay, um, you may have a, a healing touch. There could, there's something about your touch. So you could actually be an empath, a healer. You could work in healthcare. You could work in physical fitness. Um, you could work in like counseling people, something like that. Okay, definitely healing energy here, light worker energy. And look at, they feel very, this masculine, whoever this is, they feel very depleted. Look how gray they are. And they come and fall into the arms of this healer. And you make this person feel better with just a simple touch of your fingers. Okay? You may know already that you're a, like a hands-on healer. All right? You get a lot of tingles in your fingertips. I feel like you can pull energy from nature from up through the ground and filter it through your body and out your fingertips to heal other people. Okay, so you're like a hands-on healer. You may not even be aware that you have the ability to do this, okay, for whoever that's for. Take it how it resonates. I feel like you... Uh, you know, you, you probably heal very quickly, okay? You probably regenerate very quickly. Um, you could look literally like 20 years younger. Um, he, the reason why I, I can explain this is because I have healing hands as well, okay? And everybody that I've touched has, has said, you know, like, please don't ever stop touching me like that or... Please keep doing that, like, forever. Cause, and it calms people down. You have a very calming nature. I get the tingles in my fingertips when I'm able to heal things, um, heal people, heal animals, okay? Um, and uh, honestly, I'm, I'm 57 years old, and people keep saying I look like I'm 35. I don't know. I've got some awesome moisturizers, so, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, that could be you, right? You could look way younger than what you are. You have this ability to regenerate quickly. Um, you heal very quickly, and you have a healing touch. No matter what you do for a living, you have this ability, okay? 
Um, and this person can't stop thinking about that touch, man. They can't stop thinking about how your skin felt on theirs, you know, how it felt to hold you, how it felt to be touched by you. Okay, your warmth. They can't forget about this. This is what they want so bad. And once again, I'm being led to look at this card. Oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? This person could be doing a lot of praying right now. Um, being pressured to get into a commitment. Wanting to come back around. Okay? And you can feel this energy too. As an empath... Um, being as sensitive as you are, right? You can, you know, a touch, that's a, that's, um, a sense, right? Um, I feel like you can intuitively sense that this person wants to come back around. But um, even, I feel like this is why you're taking this stance, right? Because even if they do come back around, they may have done some things to you and treated you in a way that they can't come back from this. Like, there's no reconstructing this. Okay, and they know it too. That's why you're releasing them. And whether you have someone new in your life or not, you're in releasing this person and the baggage and the hurt from the past, that makes room for this new cookie. So you definitely have somebody new coming in. Okay, oh yeah. You know, there's someone here too. I'm also seeing that. Um, they could be discovering, right? Um, it, it could come out in the open that whoever they're with could have someone new as well. Maybe that, that could be part of this tower moment, realizing that um, whoever they chose over you could, be, could have been cheating on them. Yeah, but this person, I feel like the thing that makes them feel worse, or the, the thing that makes them feel the worst, right, is the fact that you no longer feel about them the way that you used to. And they want to be somebody that you can trust. Okay, they want your love back. They want your trust back. They want you to be able to trust them, and you don't, clearly, because you're protecting yourself from this person. Does that look like you trust them? <laughs> You don't trust this person. Mm -mm. And you may already know that they're, they're still with a karmic individual. They haven't broken free yet, I don't think. They want to say goodbye to everybody else that they were entertaining besides you. I feel like this person had multiple options. Okay? Um, but I see them being pressured into a, into a marriage or engagement, wish fulfillment here. This person's wishing for you. They're trying to manifest you back in. I, I don't even know if they know that they're doing this. So I'm not going to say trying. I feel like um, you're all that they can think about. And that is manifesting maybe an opportunity to talk to you. Because you're manifesting too. You're manifesting your wishes to, to be fulfilled. But the, if manifestation is all about what you retain focus on. Okay? The things that you're thinking about heavy and truly focused on every day, those are the things that you're going to bring into your life. And this person, they're really heavily focused on you. They're thinking to themselves, though, I'm never going to get another chance. So they, they may not get another chance with you. This is the things that they're manifesting. But they're thinking about your love and that touch. Sorry about that. Also, if they're concerned about you getting somebody new and they start thinking about, you know, um, that they don't want you with someone new, right? They keep envisioning you with somebody, uh, this new cookie. They're, whether you have someone in your life or not yet, they're manifesting this new cookie in for you, this new boo, because they're thinking about it so heavy, okay? So they're actually manifesting pretty good things for you um, because they can't get you off of their mind, you know? They're remembering a time when you brought them so much peace 
and warmth into their life, that that's what you're getting behind the scenes. That's a whole lot of peace and warmth. All right, and I don't even think that they know that they're doing this. This person's so stressed out. They're so stressed out. Bring your stress down to size. Yeah. And I feel like they haven't spoken the truth to anybody, not just you, but um, they haven't told the truth about how they feel to this karmic individual either. And honestly, I don't think she cares. I mean, if you look at this picture, she's really just living beyond her means. I feel like it's all about money. She may be trying to pretend to be um, a divine partner, okay, and she's not. She's got horns. Come on. She's got horns. This is a karmic. And she's really trying to talk your person into proposing to her, getting engaged, you know, but she needs to hear the truth as well. This person needs to take a stand. They need to stop keeping everything inside. It's getting to the point where it's, it, this is literally eating them alive. It is. Their conscience, their thoughts about you, the depression, the despair, the pressure that they're getting from the karmic to commit, the fact that you don't care about the, well, I don't want to say it like that. I feel like you do care about this person. You don't want anything bad to happen to them. You never did. But um, I feel like you don't feel the same way anymore because they broke, they broke your trust, you know? And so, yeah, I, everything is getting to this person and all of it is eating them alive. All right? Like, for real. I, I kind of get that they're sort of an emotional mess right now, but they try to, like, lock themselves in a room in private, maybe a bathroom, so that they can cry because they don't want to tell the karmic the truth. So they're just watching you leave their life, the one that they actually want. This is, it's ridiculous. It is. It's, it's getting to the point where it's ridiculous, and I feel like, um, I feel like, too, with this tower moment out here, spirit may intervene in this and just bring the whole thing down. Because I, I just am feeling like we're all kind of tired of this mess. Like, where, when is this person going to show some courage? You know? Yeah, you're like, I'm tired of it, too, Becca. I'm out. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I don't want to deal with it anymore, either. I'm trying to put this stuff behind me, yeah. Because you know that you deserve way better than what this person is giving you. You want to be happy, okay? You want your wishes fulfilled. You want the kind of love that you can trust, the kind of love that you don't need to watch tarot readings for, okay? Yeah. And you're this person's wish fulfillment, but, um, you know, they're wishing for you. But they're... They, the longer this goes on, the less chance they have of ever coming back around. All right? Yeah, you're their wish. You're their star. This is making a wish upon a star. I feel like right now, too, um, in the energy that you're in, this is that healer, right? That healer, that empath. They want their healer back. They, they want that loving touch from you. Okay? You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Maybe Taurus, Leo. Yeah, they do not want to let you go. They don't, they, yeah. This person knows um, that you're a healer. They know that they're never going to find another person like you. And they know that they're about to be replaced. Okay. Yep, and they can't stop thinking about you. Look at this, man. Another Six of Cups. We've got two Six of Cups coming out in your spread. This person, um, they think about you 24-7, man. They know they've got to do something here, collective. They know. It's either drop a wand, right, and communicate. Because, see, we're at the Nine of Wands here. It could go either way, Right? They either drop a wand, and at the eight of wands, we have communication and action. 
or they can pick up another one and be burdened by this for the rest of their days at the Ten of Wands, okay? But this is that moment of truth. What are they going to do? Like, this is what the, when this person needs to come out with it because they're, they're about ready to pop. And holding all of this inside, too, I just want to add, is causing some health issues for this person. Like, they're kind of green here. Okay, green, gray, clammy looking, losing their hair, okay, N doing too much numbing. I mean, it's going to cause some major health issues for them if they continue to hold all of this inside and be like this every day and hide how they feel. Okay, so it really is the moment of truth. This person knows they can't wait anymore. They either have to do something or don't do something and let this go. That's it. And then just deal with the burden of what could have been, what may have been. Sorry, again, Collective. I don't know why my batteries keep dying so fast. Um, unless, you know, spirit is like using that energy, right? But... Anyway, um, yeah, they're going to have to think about this and carry the burdens of losing you for the rest of their life. They're never going to be able to forget about this, and they're always going to be wondering what if. What could have happened if they were just honest with people? Wow. Wow. So, yeah, you're moving on, though, okay? You're moving on. Um you're attracting a lot of beautiful people to you. Like, people are loving what you're doing, your energy, okay? And you're putting this stuff behind you. And you're about to get new love as well. What else can you show me for my collective? I feel like this person's having dreams and nightmares about you, or you could be dreaming about each other. I feel like it's your person. They're having heavy nightmares about you as well because Spirit's telling them their time is up. And they wake up probably crying, sweating. Yeah, their time is up and you're open for new things now. You've completed a cycle here too. With the, uh, Spirit has put you on a pedestal. And you're starting to receive your blessings already. Like they're within reach here. Okay. So you're open for a new connection, new things, new adventures, new opportunities. And this masculine is being shown in their dreams that time is up. Time's up. They're going to be carrying this burden on their shoulder for the rest of their days. You know, and I feel like they're feeling the heavy pressure, not just from the universe, but also from whoever they chose over you. Okay? Okay. Spirit was pressuring this person um, to reach out and communicate, but it's coming in way too slow. You know how long it takes for somebody to find a message in a bottle? So you're being led to make some future plans for yourself, okay? You've already built a very solid foundation, but oh, look, there's more. There's more building for you to do. New ideas, right? Um, new downloads and messages, a new direction altogether for you. So, yeah, I feel like um, you're closing out a cycle here properly. And this person, the karmic right now currently is trying to trap them into a karmic loop, okay? Oh, man, I just, you know, spirit is like, sorry, but sorry, buddy, time's up. We can't stay in stagnancy anymore. So, yes, collective, you just you just keep focusing on the things that you want in your new cycle, right? This new phase in your life. Um, and think about like this is planning future goals, right? Goals, plans accomplishments that you want to make in the future, what to build next. You could be working on a new project even. Okay. Okay. 